Hi, and welcome to Yelling for Stress Relief, a primal scream event for 30 minutes with me, Ekanem Ebina. I am your friendly musical parenting coach. That means I use the 15 years and the support I've brought to thousands of kids and families to help you be aware of your voice and support your child in developing their voice as they become part of your family culture and the larger culture in a peaceful, creative, and cooperative way. And today, I'm going to show you how to scream in a way that doesn't hurt your throat and doesn't scare the kids, but does give you immediate stress relief to bring you down from those high levels of tension. Before we get started, I want to welcome you to introduce yourself by using the chat box to type your name and where you're from as you feel comfortable, or even just a simple hello, and feel welcome to keep interacting with us as this room goes on. So, to get started for today, I want to make sure that you have the one and only prop we need for this room, which is a pillow. Go ahead and find for yourself a throw pillow, or a pillow from your bed, or a throw blanket on your couch that you can fold up so that it can be used as a pillow. And I'll give you about 10 seconds to find that thing and put it near you or on your lap if you're sitting down. If you're on Zoom, you'll notice that I'm standing up because standing up is what uh, allows me to get the full benefit of this. And when you learn it today, you're gonna learn a few different pieces. And I want you to give yourself some patience. A lot of times, everyone's telling us, telling moms and caregivers that we need to have more patience for kids. But today, I'm gonna turn it around to you. I'm gonna give you patience to pick up these skills and put them together in your own timing and you're gonna give yourself patience. So right now, just pat yourself on the back, say, whew, I'm giving myself some patience to learn this just right for me. All right, so today I'm gonna to help you get calm, relieve stress, and feel better, and learn to yell and release the rage and stress that you've been holding in. Maybe you're like me. In the days when I was spending all day long with kids, there were some days when I would finish the day and I would go into the car, which was my alone place, and I would just scream. And after I would scream, the relief that I felt and the reset in my mind and my attitude was humongous, tremendous. And I want to bring you that relief today. So I want you also to know that if you've been holding in the yelling because you know all the facts about yelling hurting your throat, you know how it's felt when you're feeling guilty after you yelled at the kids, and you know how the kids get louder and more disruptive, and maybe they even ignore you when you yell. You know all of those things. You know all the negative parts. You've heard the research about how kids' cortisol levels go up when they hear yelling. They go into a fight or flight and a fear mode that doesn't really promote a good relationship with you or even good learning. You know all that stuff. You know all the negative parts of yelling. But today, I'm going to show you the positive side of yelling, the side that's actually going to help you become the calm mom that you know that you can be and I'm gonna show you how to do it in less than 30 minutes. So let's get started. This training is for you if you are a mom or caregiver of kids from age three to eight, if you're doing your best not to freak out on the kids by screaming, but it's eating you up to hold it in, if you ever find yourself popping off and losing it on the kids or on your partner or whoever happens to be in the line of fire whenever you get up to your maximum stress level, if you're suffering from a lack of sleep or not having enough help with chores and other things and you're feeling worn down, if you find yourself dreading the end of the workday because there's no time to de-stress before you go on to your second shift with the kids at home, this training is for you. This training is also for you if the house is loud. That means toys are clanking, the kids are shouting and running and knocking into things. They've turned the volume up to the highest max and they're not using the headphones on whatever devices they're on. So loud that you can barely even think. And this is also for you if you find yourself dreaming of being the carefree, calm woman you were before you had kids. 
If you want to recapture that calm peacefulness, and if you also want to recapture that value you had before you became a mom, that you wanted to do things differently from maybe your mom or your dad or your grandparents, you wanted to be the one to break that pattern of being the overly authoritative or mean or loud or screamy parent. This is for you. I understand how you feel because I've been in that situation of things being way too loud and of feeling full up. And I want you to know that you're not alone and there's nothing wrong with you. You are adjusting and you're learning your kid and you're learning yourself as a mom. You're learning that one minute you can be hugging them and loving on them and not being able to imagine life without them. And the next minute you want to hide in the pantry or the bathroom or the car. <laughs> and you kind of wish they would go hide somewhere too. This is for you. It doesn't have to be that way. You can be relieved of the stress level that puts you up in the place where you are most likely to yell. And you're going to learn how to do that today in a safe way. Be as loud as you want and let it all out and no one is traumatized. So let's get started with the three steps of today's primal scream. <laughs> you already have your pillow, so that's really, really important. That's a tool that you're definitely going to need. Hopefully you're in a private space. Um, if you're not, that's okay. We're going to do our best to make this not disruptive to anyone else who might be listening to you or depending on you. But it's even better if you can get into a private space for this. And I would like for you to get ready for the first of the three parts of this exercise. The first part will be warming up your body. The second part will be prepping the sound we're going to make. And the third part will be making the scream, enjoying the benefits, and then we're going to debrief and talk about what it was like. So now for this first part, I would like for you to feel how and where your body is. Become aware of where your back is touching your chair if you're sitting down, or your bottom where it's touching your chair. Become aware of how your breath is moving. And I'm going to be doing this part with you, so we're going to be in this together. And I would like for you now, as you feel yourself breathing normally, to bring both hands to your stomach. And as you put both hands on your stomach, I would like for you to start directing your breath so that it is making your hands rise from your stomach. And as you do that a couple, three times, I would like for you to prepare for making this sound on your next exhale. Mm. <laughs> I hope that gave you a smile and maybe even a laugh. That moo sound, you're going to practice making it on your out breath a couple more times. Mm. And just know the secret of this, as you continue to do it in your own timing, is that it starts to relieve some of the tension in your nervous system like a massage from the inside out. You're giving yourself a voice massage. So now that you've tried that a couple of times, I'd like for you to try something at the end. When you get close to the end, I'd like you to open your mouth. It'll sound like this. Mmm. Experiment with that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And now that your body is getting warmer and your face is getting relaxed, we're taking out all the tension that could hurt your voice when you do this scream, and we're going to add our final prep point. Our final prep point is that when you finish making the mmm and the ah sounds, this time instead of the ah, you're going to make another funny sound. This funny sound is like this. Mm. Try that. And this last prep part, you're going to just let your breath out without any noise until the peep, like this. Beep. Great, now you're ready. So now I would like for you to put your hands behind your neck like you're on the beach before you had the kids before you had people running around your house, breaking your things, <laughs> making it sound like a herd of elephants, screaming and yelling and making you want to scream and yell, lean your head back 
and feel your neck against your hand and let your neck just relax. And while you're in this position, I'd like for you to try the breath all the way out with the peep at the end. Let's do it. <sighs> Great. Here comes the final part. This is the actual scream. I would like for you to pick up your pillow and we're going to put all the parts together. Put your hand behind your neck. Lean your head back a little bit. You're going to breathe deep into your belly. Let all the air out. And when you get to the end, right into the pillow. Oh, I'd like for you to try that. <sighs> now that you've tried it, I'd like for you to observe what happens to your body after you try it. What happened to me, I'll tell you, and my body, is I felt myself take this big, soft, amazing breath afterwards, like automatically just fill all the way up. And then I felt my shoulders go down and I felt this release. I wonder what you felt when that happened to you. Take a moment to make a note to yourself of how you felt after that scream. And if you'd like, try another one. Prep yourself properly, right? Stabilize your neck, breathe deep and low, breathe almost all the way out, and... Oh, wow. <laughs> I hope you got that oh, ah feeling again. And now that you've had that oh, ah feeling, I want you to notice something else. I want you to notice the way that my voice changed after I finished the scream. And it's the way your voice will change after you finish too. The reason my voice sounds lower and slower now is because I'm supporting it from the very bottom because I released all the stress that would have been making me talk more like this. And it turns out that when you talk higher and faster, that's when your kids are more likely to ignore you or get more energetic and hyper instead of listening to you and calming down. So when you can access this calmer, lower and slower voice, you can get more of the command that you need to have this feedback effect of mommy is calmer and kids are calmer. Kids are calmer so kids don't make mommy more tense, right? This is the feedback loop that I want you to be able to start with this wonderful primal scream stress relief. So if you're in the clubhouse room and you felt a relief or a release from that, go ahead and type in the box relief. <laughs> wonderful. And now you can type in the chat box whatever you like about what that experience was for you. Any sensations you might have felt in your throat or your chest or your stomach or your hips or abdomen, any sensations you felt in your face, any sensations you want to make a note of, this is your chance to type them in the chat box. And I am curious and interested to see how your body responded to the scream. And now I would like to invite you to imagine what would it be like for you to try this new relaxed you around the kids? What would it be like if you could approach the kids with the calmer you and your calmer, slower voice? Imagine to yourself how they will react to you. And now that you've had this wonderful imagination, I would like to offer you even more imagination. <laughs> that stress relief technique that you just learned was the first of three stages of becoming the kind of mom who never yells. What we've learned about yelling is that yelling happens when all of our stress is at the highest level. So we don't have access to our calm parenting techniques we just are in trigger mode, and anything that happens to us in that mode, with the stress at that level, can cause us to do the thing we didn't want to do, which in this case might be yelling. So uh, what I'm going to do now is invite you to imagine the other two steps in the sequence of becoming the kind of mom who doesn't yell. The other two steps in the sequence are once you've learned fast stress relief techniques like the one we have here, I can also teach you 
how to recognize all of your triggers so you can apply your stress relief tactics before all of the triggers have piled you up to the top of your stress level. And then the third stage in becoming a mom who doesn't yell, who is truly calm and truly proud of it and whose kids enjoy their calmness, is for you to practice using that calm voice and for it to become something you can pull out with ease. And that is natural to you, that doesn't sound fake to you or the kids, and that commands their calm and their listening. And it turns out that those second of the three steps, I can show you in a wonderful experience that I am calling, Find Your Voice, Heal Your Soul. And Find Your Voice, Heal Your Soul is a beautiful experience at a retreat in Portugal. It lasts for six days and it starts on July 25th and goes through July 31st of this year. And it's in Portugal, in Gavial, Portugal, and it is sunny, it is warm, it is wonderful. We have on the retreat site a pool. We have uh, a full spa where you can get massages, you can get beauty treatments. We also have a, a sauna, a steam room. We have all kinds of wonderful ways for your body and your soul to relax. <laughs> and also at our retreat space, we have trails that you can hike. We have bikes that you can use to bike through the countryside. And we're far from the city, so you will be relaxed. We'll also have wonderful meals for you to eat, three delicious gourmet meals every day with vegan and vegetarian options and also omnivore options. We'll also have a green smoothie every day to replenish your body. And on top of that, during this retreat, you will get the opportunity to role play in a group of other moms who want to make the transition to being calm, the kinds of situations you get into with your kids so that you can practice your new calm voice and using it together. You'll also get private sessions with me where you can discuss your situation and I can help you pinpoint some things that will help you unhook your triggers and be ready to start using your new calm voice. So, Find Your Voice, Heal Your Soul is coming up in a few weeks and I'm welcoming you to join me. And if you look in the chat box, you're going to notice that there is a link where you can join me for this retreat. And if you happen to be on Clubhouse listening to the replay, um, you may be able to see a link at the top of the room where you can click as well. So I'm just going to give you a minute to click over, and you're going to want to click over. The reason you're going to want to click over is because today until midnight tomorrow, everyone who came to this event gets a discount code that's worth $700 off the price of the retreat. All you have to do is type Clubhouse Friends with no vowels into the coupon code spot and then you will get $700 off of the retreat cost. Now, there are some other perks that you get from being a friend before this retreat. Um, one of the perks you get is that we have a free group shuttle from the Lisbon Airport to our retreat location in Alentejo. And we also have a free group shuttle back from the retreat to the airport. There are other wonderful perks that I'm going to keep a secret, but one perk I will keep a secret is my co-host, Hanalena. Hanalena is an expert singing bowls player. That means she plays that instrument that sounds like it's just glowing and vibrating and it vibrates in your ears but it also vibrates in your body and it creates its own atmosphere of healing and resetting. And Hanalena has been a professional bowls player and singer so she understands how our whole body operates with our voice and how the effect of the bowls can help us reset and discover a new voice. And that new voice is what I'll be giving you technical skills and tricks and tools to be able to engage as well, both in the private and the group sessions. 
Our private and group sessions will also involve singing. And this is for you if you've always felt that you shouldn't be singing or someone even told you you're not a singer or you don't have a voice. Someone rudely told you that at some point. This event is for people who feel shy about their voice, especially their singing voice. So in this event, you will have the opportunity to see yourself in a different way, both as someone who uses her voice and whose voice is welcome, and as someone who is calm in the way she parents with her voice. So if you're ready for that, click on the Eventbrite link, use your special code CLBHS. F-R-N-D-S, Clubhouse Friends, without the vowels. And with that, I am going to be opening up the chat for you to ask any questions you might have about today's experience or about the retreat. And one thing I want you to know is that I always honor your time. I know that you're busy. I know that the kids need you and you need to be with them. And so that's why today's room is 30 minutes as promised. I'm not going over time. I'm honoring my promise. So these last few minutes are all yours. I'm going to mute my mic and I'm going to let you type your questions in the chat box. And I'll answer questions on the mic as I see them, as I can, but I'd like everyone to be able to type their questions because then someone will be able to type the answers back, even if I'm not able to um, address them on the mic. So I'm looking and listening, and I'm looking both here and on Clubhouse. And one question that was asked before was, uh, what is the currency of the um, of the tickets? And you'll be allowed to pay, able to pay in U.S. dollars. And another question that I had was, which airport are we coming from? As I said before, you'll be landing in Lisbon Airport, and we will be giving you a scenic shuttle ride from there yes, to Alentejo. And uh, yeah, so you'll be landing in Lisbon Airport, and we'll be giving you a free shuttle ride together, which is a scenic route from there to Alentejo. So you'll get to see some of the countryside, some of the coast, and some of the countryside going on to our site, Gavial, in Alentejo, which is a very beautiful southern part of Portugal. Another question that was asked was uh, whether kids are coming to this retreat. And the answer is no. This retreat is a time for you to get complete relaxation without your responsibilities to the kids, without having to listen to the things that might have been triggering you in the past, a full reset and a full relaxation. Um, there's going to be all kinds of, as I said, wonderful food to eat. There's also going to be Portuguese wine, which is lovely. And you're also going to have, as I said, the spa and uh, nature to hike and bike in so that you can have a complete release. No kids. This is a no kids event, parents only. And so in our last five minutes, I would like for you to imagine yourself being the calm mom that you know you can be. Imagine what it would be like for you when the kids are doing the things that would normally trigger you, but instead of yelling or having to escape to the car to put your head down or escape to the bathroom to hide, you can just face them calmly and speak to them like they need to be spoken to. I would like for you to imagine how good you would feel not to have to feel guilty after you talk to them and instruct them. Imagine the pride and the confidence you would feel in yourself as a calm mom. And I want you to know you can have that, and I am glad to support you in that. My name is Ikana Medina. I am your musical parenting coach, and today I've been glad to share with you one of many quick stress relief techniques I have to start you on your path to becoming a non-yelling mom. And I'm also welcoming you to join me for more support at the Find Your Voice, Heal Your Soul retreat in July in Portugal. And with that, this has been the Promise Less Than 30 Minutes Room. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you and goodbye. If you want to say your goodbyes, this is your chance to type them into the chat box and any other final questions you can type into the chat box and I will be closing the room down in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. Thank you all for coming. Goodbye. Stop the music. It's uh, this design is something else. I gotta say, I gotta say.